Ellen Wilkinson must have had fabric hands, thread fingertips, pincushion palms and wrists releasing silk banners scrawled with demands. With each word, she wove workmen's minds, embroidered closed down shipyards, blanketed the workhouse without walls, wrapped the malnourished in patchworked cotton. Women and war kept the yards open. Shipbuilders' uniforms split. Frayed edges of thick melton wool screeched when caught on scraps of steel. So it's lucky that my grandma too had fabric hands, felted tough fabrics to withstand North Sea spray, repaired donkey jackets with nimble loops, used pianists' fingers to knit hats and scarves, peeled patterns from magazines to adorn children in 1960s lace trims. When I fell and broke my skin, my mother buttoned it back up, her hand cream softness silked over exposed tissue caressed my baby cheeks as I reached for the cared for cuticles on her fabric hands. My tiny digits grasped at hers. She unthimbled me, showed me the supple potential of loose strands. Fingers like cords clutching spoons and pens fluttered at home and at work, decorating and designing templates to help my hands become more elastic. She handed me a thread that I followed down to the river. I found women there, holding each other up with bare fabric hands, mending broken bones and brains with pinpoint accuracy, meshing together stories and problems by fusing scraps of linen into bigger and bigger pieces, binding with zigzag lines their love and anger knotting chunks of nylon fear and mohair hope to entwine tightly a net of women's work. I'll plait myself inside it, anchor myself in with a piece of string, let my ribboned hair merge with the wind, and when I walk, I'll be pulled by crocheted waves made by women before me. I'll fold into them, because I wear a dress made of fabric hands.